Now, hello, Sally Everett. This is Sally Everett from Finay in County Westmeath. And you might remember meeting Sally last, last September on The Late Late Show when she brought in her horse, Casino, and she was riding Casino from Malinhead to Mizzenhead to collect money for the Cancer Society. And she did very well. And in the course of the interview, you may have seen that she was wearing a neck collar. And she had been wearing this neck collar for two to three years because of an injury which she received. It was very uncomfortable, especially riding a horse. But anyway, she told us all about that, and then Sally went away into the room. I went on with the rest of the show, and at half eleven at the end of the show, I went into the room, and there was Sally. And she was saying, look, 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 look. And I said, wah, wah, wah. And she said, look, no collar. For the first time in many years, I have the collar off. I'm able to move my head left and right. I'm able to move my head up and down, and all without pain. And that is because this man, John Carty, who runs the Endorphin Clinic in Drimna, was looking at the show that night, saw Sally talking to me, got in his car, drove down here and said, want to talk to that woman, and manipulated her so that by the end of the show, she was without pain and moving her head. Is that situation still continuing, Sally? Yes, it's definitely continuing. Still Very without good. pain. I can still no pain, <clears throat> and I can turn my head where I like. And up and down. And up and down, A anyway. miraculous recovery. Wonderful recovery. Wonderful. Okay, yes. now, John, John Carty runs the Endorphin Clinic in Drimna. Could you summarize for me in one minute, what is the treatment? Basically, what I did was I released natural chemicals called endorphins uh, in the area where the restriction was. The restriction basically was tension on muscles. But the tension on the muscles was brought on by nerves that were damaged. So what I did was find the nerves that were damaged, brought these chemicals, her own chemicals, into the area, and with a light massage uh, that we've developed here in Ireland, I brought these chemicals in and took away the restriction and allowed her to move her neck again. The restriction was being caused by muscles that were in spasms. Well, that's a great recovery indeed. Michael Cotton, how are you? Rep from Dublin. Very bad back two or three years, was it? For two or three years, Two yeah. or three years, yeah. Were you laid up at all? I was, yeah. I was laid up for, say, two or three months. And before I went down to see John, I was in bed for about a week, two weeks. Yeah. And couldn't move at all. Was this the result of an accident? No, it was from lifting hydraulic equipment. Ah, and you put something out. Something. And how many treatments did you have from John? Um, I just had the one treatment from John for about 20 minutes. Good heavens. And I had been treated several times beforehand. By various people. By various people. And you had tried various people, Sally, as well, I, I had, presume, yes, down through the years. Yeah, Conventional yeah. medicine mm -hmm. and so on. So how do you feel now, Michael? Brilliant. Brilliant. Absolutely. Really? Laughing all Absolutely. Right. Okay. Carolyn Swift, ladies and gentlemen, you know very well from her broadcasting. You had two hip replacements, Carolyn, is that right? right? Yeah. And what were you suffering from? Sort of? Well, arthritis, but pains. I had about three weeks after I came out of hospital, I started to have pain in my feet, and they were x-rayed, and I was told there was nothing wrong with them. And I had pain in my legs, my hips, my knees, my feet, everything. And I tried everything. I tried acupuncture and all sorts of different things, alternative medicine and so on. And when I went to John, it was just like a miracle, really. Really? A miracle? Yeah, a miracle. And, and this is maintained? It hasn't, it hasn't come back? No, no. It hasn't worn off? Or anything. No. Okay. Noelle McTiernan, good evening to you from uh, Maynooth County, Gildare. Uh, you've had a problem for a number of years, yeah? Yes, I've had a problem for a good number of years, and I've had surgery twice. I had my first surgery in 1990, and then again in 1993. And I spent all last January and February, this time last year, I was in bed. I wasn't able to get out of it, and a friend of mine, Lorna, told me about John, and I went to him, and I've never looked back since. That was when? January, this February? This last January and February. I never, I never got out of the bed all January and February. Of, all I'm sorry, the time. last year, yes. In February? Oh, no, I beg your pardon, last year. Last I, year, yes, yes. Yeah. Never yeah. got out of the bed? No, I wasn't able. And how many and treatments did you have? Well, in the beginning, I was going twice a week to John, because I really was very, very bad, because yeah. I was heading for surgery again. Yes. And um, yeah. then it, the period of going to him then I, I went a week you know and then monthly and that you know yeah. so um, and, and how are you now I'm great great yeah he and has taken the pain away yes and were you at the stage of walking bent over I couldn't something? walk because you couldn't. My, yes my sciatic nerve was all damaged yes and um, every time I put my foot to the ground I actually would pass out of the pain my, my left leg and I actually had an, um, power loss in my left leg yeah what do you do for a living Noel? 
Well, I have three children, yes, so... I see. That, that, that's a living. <laughs> I see. Okay. All right. So you're feeling fine now. I am great. And John took the pain away, yes. you know. And when you go into him, he says to you, um, what we do here works. And it's just, you know, the confidence, you know, he tells you, you know, that it's going to work. Yes. And you believe yourself because you've gone to so many places and you say, well, you yeah. know... Two, two, two bouts of surgery is fairly heavy going on, right? Yeah. Okay, now thank you very much indeed. I, I can assure you that I could multiply those four people by 10, 15, 20, and we get the same story. Now there may be others, but whoever. Come with me, John. And this is Patricia Scanlon. Hello, Hiya. Patricia. How are you doing? How are you doing? Well-known, best-selling author and doing extremely well. What's wrong with you? I'm creased. Um, I had an operation on my back about a year, uh, last November, 95. And... Um, I'm trying to write another book and I, I really can't do it because I can't sit at the computer no matter what way I sit, I can't get relief, I'm aching from my neck down and um, it's very worrying because it's my job, you know. So and and what, what brought on the back? Uh, I'd say it was probably from writing the books, I'm blaming that anyway, it was, um, it was a long hour sitting at the computer and then I was talking to John and he was asking me had they ever been in an accident and years ago I remember somebody crashed into the back of my Mini and um, I mean, I didn't take any notice at the time, but ever since that, my shoulder started acting up and then my back. Mm. And it just got, last year it got worse and worse and worse. Mm. And I had to, the, the disc actually shattered when I was listening to that lady there about the sciatic nerve oh well. and, and fainting and everything. I just knew exactly what she was really? going through. And how are you now? Are you in pain now? Is yeah. You, you are? Yeah. Where? Uh, all, all you down. see, I'm trying to, I'd be sitting at the computer, so I'm trying to protect the bottom yes. of my back. Yes. And so I kind of try and kind of lie down, maybe do it on the settee or do it on the bed and have the computer on my stomach. God. So, okay, protect the bottom of your back, but then you get the pain in the neck sure. and the shoulders. No matter you know, what you do. So, okay. Yeah. Right, Patricia. Okay. This is Niall Dermody, 22 years of age, far too young to have a bad back. Moylock County Galway. Damaged disc, is it? Uh, yeah. yeah. And Niall, what, playing Gaelic football? You were with the Galway seniors. Yeah, I was with going through this for a while before I uh, damaged my back, you know. Yeah. And it just came down bad on the hard ground, you know, and couldn't get back into it again, you know. Mm. And how are you now? Are you in pain? Well, not now, but it, I mean, like, it's a, it's a case when I lift something in during the day and at night it'd be killing pain again, you know, it'd be sore pain again. Yeah. Like if something's rubbing off a nerve or something, you know. Yeah, you've had to stop playing, I presume. Yeah. 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 You're, you're not actually out sick at the moment, are no, you? I'm not, no, no, no. You're still so you can walk, but with with, uh, with a bit of pain around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's now. Nice. Twenty-two, far too young. Hello, Aileen O'Connor. Hello. How are you? Hi. This is from, uh, 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 persistent back pain since what? Since when? Oh, I have about like thirty years, I think. Thirty years. Yes. Yes. I was about uh, two when I got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yeah. <laughs> good gag. I like it, but it, ne it nearly worked. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, and um, what have you done about it? I've tried everything, I have acupuncture, I've tried it's all the usual things that you go through and nothing seems to work. Uh, it worked for a little while and mm. then after a while it, it, it just comes back again mm. and it's just constantly, I have difficulty sitting now here, you know, I'd have mm. to sit forward because it's the base of my spine that, that's very tender all the time mm. and that sounds as if you're being a martyr or something, but you do tolerate it, you know, you get used to you it after used a while, to it, yes, except yes. that after a bit you get very tired. Of yes, and then you know. try a few painkillers and all yes, that sort of thing, if you're going out or whatever. Uh -huh. What do you do for a living? What, what, what do you I'm work? a teacher. A teacher. Mm. And, and this is at you all that time? Yes, it is, pretty mm. well. Mm. Okay, Mary Blankson, good evening to you, Mary. How long are you in pain? Uh, ten days now. <laughs> ten days only? Uh, what no. happened to you? Uh, back of a uh, car on into the back of a a I car run into the back so of So it's a bit of whiplash? Yeah, a bit yes. of whiplash, yeah. Since, since uh, 10 Last days? Last Wednesday week, yes. Yeah. Right, right up here, up, is it? Up, yeah. right the neck and right between the shoulders. Yeah, place, yeah. yeah. And uh, you never had any back trouble before oh, that? Oh, I did. Years ago, I had whiplash mm. very, you know, about 1980, you know, yes. but I never, it, I went for physiotherapy, the usual. But then... Yeah, can, can, what, what are you saying, John? Can't you move her neck? Can you move your neck at the moment? Yeah, I can use, but I can't move looking up, like, you know, at people looking upstairs or something. If somebody's standing yeah. and talking mm. to me, I can't. Yeah, and what do you and work I at? Work, I'm a tutor. I tutor ladies in uh, interior design mm. and yes. uh, patchwork quilting. And that would have involved moving oh, yeah, about and, and looking up and all that. Bending over yes. and yes. all, all that of type of yes. work, yeah. So you're in pain as we speak then? Yeah, I've been yeah. in pain now for. You know. Mind you, we had a good number of other people we contacted who also had whiplash from car crashes, but Compo had set in and they didn't want to come to no, the late, late show and, and so on. You, you just want to get better, you just want to get, get rid of it. Yeah. Okay, well what we will do is this, if you're all agreeable, and we know you are, John will take you away to uh, a green room down here, 
and he will do what he can for you between now and, uh, well, I suppose 20 past 11, quarter past okay. 20 past 11, okay? See what Fine. you can do with him, John. Okay. We'll call in on you during the show just to see how you're doing and who you're okay. working on and what are you okay. doing. And then at the end of the show, we'll see have we been able to help uh, Mary or, or Niall or Patricia or, or um, Aileen. Will you do Probably. that? I will, sir. Okay, Thank all you right, off you go. Thank you very Thank much you. indeed for participating. We just want to see from how you do. Thank you. Bye. Now, just to see, because we know there is no end of people who have back problems and neck problems and pains and aches, and we just want to see if it works for them. Right, that's John Carty of the Endorphin Clinic. He uses endorphin release therapy. Meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen, our next guest is 25 years of age. He qualified as an accountant in February 19... I tell you what, um, I, let me go over to John, to John Carty now in the room and see how he is doing it. There, John, who are you working on? Uh, I'm working here on Patricia, doing some work with Patricia with the uh, lower lumbar region. We found some sciatica nerves that are in difficulties and uh, we're working away with that. Do not hear me screaming. <laughs> um, is it doing anything for you, Patricia? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, when he presses... Yes. Finger in very hard, it hurts. I know the feeling, and then it gradually and eases. Then the pain eases off, yeah. 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 Uh, do, do I'm trying to mind my language here. Uh, have you done anybody else? Uh, I John? have done two, in fact, already. And? We just doing very, very successfully. Got very good results. Really? Um, almost finished two patients already. I'm going to just be check back and see how we're doing with okay. uh, the whiplash. There will be a couple of little uh, places there to look at. Yes. But other than that, and I haven't got on to the young gentleman as yet, yes. but we'll do some work with him in a few moments as well. Okay. But uh, we're progressing very well. Right, well, we'll see you at about uh, 20 past 11, John. Lovely. You're, you're all right there, Patricia, are you? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm Did enjoying that... myself immensely. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're not lonely for us or anything, Oh, Patricia. come in and give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what Not line do you want? Uh, <laughs> four, line four, okay. Hello, line four. Hello, Gay. Okay. Good evening. Thank you for taking my call. Yes. Uh, I just want to ask the lady, in view of the fact that I... What? A clue. Oh, yeah, a clue. Oh, yeah, a clue. The next clue in the postal quiz, he's not too well at the moment. Ah. I'm trying to make it easy for you, for heaven's <laughs> sake. Bertie Ahern. Patricia, Gay. come. Uh, John Carty, Niall Dermody. Here we are. Aileen O'Connor and Mary. Come in. Exactly. Thank you very much indeed for all that hard work. Okay. That's John Carty. Patricia. Look at Report. Me. What? Well, you were doing that before. Is no, it, I wasn't really. I mean, what? I'm loose. I'm much looser. Um, Why are you Yeah. <laughs> 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 what a thing to say. Tell me more yeah. quick, yeah. Uh, no, no. Um, I mean, I can just move around much easier. And, okay, I know I could hear that guy saying about the stress, you know, and, and all in the mind. So I know people might say it's all on my bum, because that's where I was really <laughs> pressing, you know. Um, but, I mean, I could feel the pain at the time, but it eased off, and, and I just feel very... It's like doing ballet or something. Mm -hmm. I feel much looser. Improved? Yeah, yeah. Improved? Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Stand over there. Now, Germany. Give us a report. Yes, Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, 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 you know, you don't have to say this. You don't no, have to say this. You don't have to. You don't. Don't try to avoid embarrassing him. But no, brilliant. I'd be opening for Paul tomorrow without any fear of damage in the back. So. But you weren't in pain now. No, but it was a funny, a kind of a rubbing of nerves as I moved. You know, that kind of way. Uh, major restriction I found in the hip. Uh, major restriction. A major restriction in, in the, the hip. hip, and it was most of the problem was indeed in the hip and not in the back at all. So he's free to work. Where, where, where was found the same here in the back, and I found some problems with the neck here as well. We found a, a, a long uh, standing uh, whiplash that had been there for some years, and we've started the treatment on it. I want to do some more treatment there. But uh, here, how, fine. How are you feeling now? now? Great. Really relaxed. Really? Yeah, you're actually yourself. smiling. You're, 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 you're surprised at yourself. That's what it is. You're surprised. Well done. Okay, over there for a moment. Uh, Aileen? <laughs> <laughs> what? That was lovely. That was lovely. Oh, I can do it again. <laughs> yes, yes. How do you feel? I feel very well. I really do. Um, I was Nothing very... miraculous. I, yes, it is. I, it's not miraculous, but I was very sceptical, I think, to begin with. I, I, because I'd had it for such a long time, I didn't really think that it could be fixed quickly. Mm -hmm. um, but I can move. It, it was here in, in my den and in my hips. And um, 
I can move very easily and he found all sorts of points that were sore that I hadn't even noticed before. So I, I read with feel much better and very well. Thank right. you. What was the problem there? We had some problems with the lower lumbar region here in this case and a bit of problems on both sciatics uh, in the rear and a bit in the front as well. And uh, a radial nerve was down on one side. Other than that, it's, it's fine. We found a little bit in the neck as well and in the shoulders. Okay, well done, Aileen. I'm glad for you. Larry, <laughs> after all those years, <laughs> 10 <laughs> days anyway. I a lot to do, sir. Do you? I have to go, as you said, I'll be going. You have to go back again. Treatment I to go yeah. back again because. Yeah. 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 But she actually got a hard belt. Did you yeah. get oh, a hard belt? Oh, she did indeed. Yeah. 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 And it is sore there because she just it's only a recent whiplash it's that she yeah. had, you know. Yeah. So I asked her to come back to me for some more treatment. Got a lot of more movement in the neck and yeah. a lot of freedom of movement in the neck that yeah. wasn't there. Yeah. That's why I was asking you earlier to just to check on the movement yeah. originally mm. because yeah. I knew I'd get a lot of the movement back. And I thanked uh, the young doctor in the audience for joining in. I don't want to embarrass you again. What's your reaction to that? Would you be sceptical about I'm, all of this? I'm not an expert on no. uh, back pain at all, but um, in, in my own uh, experience, like I hurt my wrist and elbow there recently while I was canoeing, and I, it was troubling me for several weeks, and I took all sorts of tablets, and then it just zapped me for weeks, then it went away suddenly yeah. out of the blue. So things like back pain or neck pain can for, go on for months or years, and then suddenly they just go away. Now, yeah. I don't think this manipulation business or massage right. therapy actually causes um, endorphins re released which are morphine like compounds within your own body but I do think that um, this is a medical if you school all of a sudden <laughs> 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 I, think, I think that if you um, you know it's very relaxing and um, you know people is it not <laughs> it's most stressful uh, having a camera on top of you, you know, yeah. filming you, well, it's not relaxing, yeah. believe me, in case you think that's what it is. Well, I certainly think it's, it's great that you've got some benefit from it. I hope it continues. Thank well, you. it will continue, believe yeah. you me. Well, I think, I think more and more conventional medical doctors are opening their minds they to are alternative indeed, yeah. they're, 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 they're ways they're of doing much more things open so now than they Tony, were do you have a reaction to all of this in view of what you've just been saying? Well, yes, but also interesting that acupuncture um, is now known to work because it releases endorphins into the central nervous system. And it has also been shown that placebos, you know what a placebo yes. is? Where I tell you this is really going to work. And it's it's actually so. a smarty. But actually, because you believe it's going to work, it seems to release endorphins into the central nervous system as well. So um, I, it doesn't surprise me that what um, John is doing works. Are you casting aspersions, Tony? Aspersions in what direction? Well, are you saying that it's the All power of positive thinking? Are they, or, or no, no. What, what I'm saying is that, I'm, that, again, that the body responds to touch. And that I've, I, you know, that I've no doubt if you, if you get proper touch and proper manipulation, that it does go to the brain, that everything that you go, goes through to the brain in some yes. way or other. And it, doesn't, it wouldn't surprise me if endorphins are released. If they're released through a placebo, yes. I'm sure they're even more released through manipulation. Yes. That would yeah. be my belief. Well, yeah. the, the main difference here is that whereas a, a footballer or somebody can release endorphins or a runner can release endorphins, they can't actually release endorphins in the area where the damage is. And that's what I do. I come to the area where the damage is done. I find the damage first. I listen to the patient. The patient tells me the pain is in a certain area. I look for it there. If I find it there, I may indeed find other pains that I didn't even know they had. When I find the area that the pain is there, I take the pain away. I get the patient to get their endorphins to come yeah. in. Yeah. And when they do that, the pain disappears. Yes. Uh, you're ex-patient, yes. You were. I think most people do go to John Carty. They, they don't go in and believe that they can be cured because we've been to doctors for years. Everywhere. And, and, you know, and you're going yes. in and you're being told true. by this man, you know, yes. 20 minutes later, you're going to walk out cured. You're saying, yes. you know, oh, no yeah. way, but you're giving it a go. And I have to say, I had one treatment for 20 minutes. I was treated for three years by different doctors and never got any relief whatsoever, even from painkillers. And I walked out of John's office and I've never been back. It was... That's fantastic. You, yes, sir, did you want to get in here? Yeah. Yes, sir. How are you doing? <laughs> I'd just like to say, I've listened to both sides of the story here. It seems to me that the people that get the results are getting the best deal here. I appreciate what the doctor is saying, but it's just indicative of the medical profession. He's not very open to these people's ideas. These people have got results, and where they get it, they're not worried. They just want the results. No, no, well, there is our, well, hold on now, let's be fair. 
let's be fair, we, we, that is I, have to be very careful on the show in, in presenting something like this because if people, and John understands this perfectly well, whether it's acupuncture or spiritual healing or healers or laying hands or any of the, there are a lot of quacks in the business, let's I face it, and we're not going to present on the Late Late Show somebody who is a quack because there are so many people out there. I'm quite certain that our switchboard will be burnt out by the end of tonight. Uh, people trying to make contact to find who is he, where is he, and can we get to him because we're in pain. Because in desperation, having tried everything else, like all of our patients, uh, they, they would go anywhere. So we're kind of cautious yeah. about it, you know. But that's the point I'm making. Like, if you get a result, you know, If you quite get a result, of yeah. course, of course. But, but uh, conventional medicine will always be resistant to that a little bit because, well, for various reasons, I well, suppose. I don't Partly, think that, yeah. in all fairness, because there are dangers in it. Because he, oh, may be yeah. he may be removing the pain, but he's not removing the underlying cause. That is always the suspicion. It, the suspicion. Sorry, Carolyn. Yes. No. Thank, thanks for that, anyway. No, I only wanted to say that I tried osteopath, osteopath and all those things, and everybody had told me that they could help me. And I went in quite skeptical. Yes. Quite a skeptical yes. mood. And the result, walking out, everybody who see me, I met people afterwards, and they said, Good heavens, what's happened to you? You're walking so much better, you're not limping anymore. Yeah. And this has gone on for two weeks now. And I've been handing out John's card to people who said, I must try that. I couldn't yeah. believe the change in your movement. Yeah. And I mean, I was making a right idiot of myself trying to follow the, but, the, the, the but dance but earlier. I've but I couldn't you. have possibly have I've done it. I've seen you, Carolyn, re regularly walking across the car park yeah. and you were barely able to move. That's I mean, right. you were really struggling. I, and I mean, the idea that I could even attempt the hip movement just now. Yeah, that's probably set you back. <laughs> but I mean, I couldn't have made even a stab at it yes. before, you yes. know. Well done, well done. Anybody else? Because I see it on hand. Yes, yeah. sir. Into the glasses. Hi. Uh, over Christmas there, uh, for about four weeks, I'd been suffering very badly with my back. And it wasn't because of stress or overwork or it wasn't psychological. It was sheer, uh, the, you know, bad management mm -hmm. of my body, the way I would lift things off the ground. And I have changed all that now instead of bending over i bent over in the bathroom to pick up uh, my uh, toilet bag and i just put my back out so i was done up for three weeks and i would love to have met this gentleman here coming up to uh, Christmas. and how are you now well i'm just okay if i do anything it's, out it's of the order yeah yeah it, it really yes. well, uh, can very, i warn you sore. that you'll always have that injury oh now. i know i've and had it for 38 yes. years and and every time you yes. do something odd instead yes. of going down with bending That's your right. knees if That's you bend right. over you'll yeah. have that Anyway, there you are, you have it, you've, you've heard of our four people in the front row, you've heard our four patients, and that's John Carty, and he runs the Endorphin Clinic, which is in Dribbling. Thank you very much indeed, John, for coming along. Thank you for our patients, our guinea pigs, thank you, Mary Mary, thank you, Aileen, and I hope it continues. Well done, Niles, well done, Patricia, well done. Tony and, and, and Padraig and, and Dara, we'll see you in due course when you've oh, you done your little be. trick. Okay. Before I went yes, I you just have to say hello, hello to your sister. To be sister Sharon, your if sister. I don't say hello, I'll be excommunicated from the yes. family. She's in the maternity hospital section in Dundalk and she's ready to pop and the whole, well, she's not actually ready, but she's getting there. And all the women in there and hello, and I'm sorry I didn't say it earlier, okay, I'm dead. All right, now, and when you meet her again, she'll be like a stick insect, as I said before. <laughs> you won't be able to see her oh, when she turns so. sideways. There you are. I forgot to mention, the showcase is trade only. That, uh, that crafts council is trade only. I beg your pardon, you're not invited as members of the public, just trade only. Okay, final clue. You ready? You ready? Final clue. <laughs> he did it his way. going to be upset now because you're all laughing at me. Good night on the next week. Good night. I hate you all. Right?